What I wanna share with you here today is that we know how we age. We know why we age. We also know how to start reversing the aging process. But what's even more important to me is that I can help you in some way to stay healthier longer so that you can actually enjoy your life. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. So glad to have you here today. This is our Thursday edition of the Cabral Concept. It used to be the training Thursday, sometimes the detox Thursday, uh, but we're going to turn a lot of this into high performance health Thursdays now. So many of the topics are going to be for really one of my greatest passions right now, which is studying the field of age reversal. No longer just anti-aging, no longer kind of slowing the aging process, but actually reversing the aging process. I want to talk a little bit about that on today's show, but more so what I want to do is, is actually give you a little recap of an amazing conference I was at just about, I don't know, two weeks ago now, maybe three weeks, and share with you one additional theory that I think is going to make a lot of sense on why we age in the first place. Now, keep in mind, just a few podcasts ago, we went over the disposable soma theory on aging. And that was episode 2589. I'll link that up today. So basically, I'm just going to put all of the links at stephencabral.com forward slash 2631. So head on over to stephencabral.com right now forward slash 2631. And I'll link up any previous shows there as well. Plus, really, what's going on uh, with all of our high-performance health-based work? So here's the thing. The disposable soma theory, just to give like a 30-second recap, but I would love you to tune into the whole show because I think it is important, really states this, that we as humans, just like any other form of life, the main goal of nature is to have us to reproduce and carry on our species. That's the main goal. All right, so we are disposable. That's the truth. And what nature does is it gives us everything that we need to keep us alive and strong during our reproductive years, which is typically 35 and 35 years of age and below. And then after that, there's a precipitous drop for many people. That's kind of like, oh, you know, once you hit 40, like, so. That's actually programmed into our body. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, but the disposable soma theory in aging basically means that your, bo your body prioritizes keeping you alive just through reproductive age, and it actually harms you then in other ways by not taking care of things going on in the background in order just to keep your body strong. So what I'm saying to you is it compensates. It gives you everything that you need to go, go, go in your teens, 20s, and early 30s. And then after that, kind of falls off. Now, the, uh, the triage theory on aging of why we age picks right back up in that same place. So I want to go over that. But before I do, because this is one that I, I was chatting about with some amazing scientists. One of those uh, was David Sinclair. Obviously, he's well known for his decades of work at Harvard and MIT. Uh, at his lab going over all different reasons why humans may age and how we can begin to reverse the aging process. He's one of about a dozen different longevity scientists uh, that I follow their work very closely. I read all of their research. And then what I do is I put it uh, in practice. So basically, we have amazing researchers, and I try to take my 20-plus years of clinical practice, working with well over a quarter million people now, and say, how do these fit? What can we use? But also, no one in my practice is a guinea pig. So we don't use, we don't do anything, anything at all until it's proven safe beyond a shadow of a doubt. And it fits with an overall Eastern medicine based uh, approach, which means does it create balance in the body? So these super mega dose uh, supplement protocols of like a gram, two grams a day of resveratrol or NAD, et cetera. Again, I'm not throwing, trying to um, throw any hate anybody's way. It's not that at all. It's not how the body was meant to use that. And everything you put in the body has an opposite uh, 
or repercussion that you do that you, when you put those things in. So what I'm trying to say is this. There are massive breakthroughs. I'm a huge fan of NMN and resveratrol and quercetin and all these great things, but I will never promote the one or two grams a day uh, when I see conflicting research as well. So I just wanted to share that with you. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean that I don't love the research that's coming out of these labs. Now, I can also tell you this. Almost every single longevity scientists, and I, we can call them genterologists, et cetera, but almost every single one all agree on why we age and the things that we can do to start to reverse aging. It's unbelievable. They almost all agree. Now, when you see people on Instagram and you see people on TikTok and you see people on other social media, they're saying this diet's best, that diet's best. The longevity scientists that are actually studying this they don't disagree on that. Like they, they, they just don't even care what people are saying on Instagram because it's so far from what's scientifically validated and also like what they've been doing in Ayurvedic medicine for 6,000 years. It's, most of it is actually ridiculous. I mean, you, you can't, please do not take your, please do not take your health advice, your nutrition advice, even ex exercise advice from social media. It's, it's a dangerous place. No fad diet is going to be the answer. None of them agree on that. I've talked about the best diets uh, in the past. Again, they're all foundational, and then you create uh, one based on your bioindividuality, but they're all, they're all of a foundation. We're not going to get into that today, though. All right, so I can link up some of those podcasts today at 2631. All right, so here's the thing. We know now, and this, this is not like public knowledge, but we know now how to decrease biological age. So we know how to help a human that's 50 years old have a biological age of 40 years old. So basically, we know how to help someone with a chronological age of a decade more decrease it by like a decade. We absolutely know how to do that. And we know the protocols needed to help people not age at one biological year for every one chronological year. That means that you could be aging at 0.84 years for every one year you're alive. So if you look at that, you're aging slower as time is going by. That is how we also increase lifespan. The other thing which I just wanna to touch on that we help people with is increasing health span. Health span is the number of years you stay alive with great health. Most Americans, they stay alive 74 to 77 years. And they're only healthy, and I would call it pseudo healthy, they're just not on medication yet, for maybe 35 to 40 of those years. Half their life is then medicated, dealing with chronic health issues, all of which can be reversed. So we wanna increase people's health span, we want to, then that in turn will most likely increase their lifespan as well, but we can do both. If you look at centenarians, I've stated this before, they're healthy up until months or just a couple years before they pass away. It's a great life to be able to live that with the one that does not include the pain or the suffering of, or the loss of the mind. So we'll get more into that. Uh, we, again, we know how right now to decrease biological age and keep people alive decades longer. We know how to slow the aging process. And one of the reasons why I mention this is you just want, I keep saying this to people, you have to help your friends and family members who aren't in the best health maybe right now. And they're in their later 50s, or 60s, or 70s, or even 80s. Help them get healthy, stay alive another five to 10 years. Because the breakthroughs right now, which is not available to the public, just being talked about uh, amongst these types of circles that I want to share with you, are remarkable. We're talking about true age reversal. We're talking about replacement organs. So yeah, you've heard about heart transplants, kidney transplants. What if you were given a heart that was specific to your body? What if you were given a new liver that was specific to your body? What if you didn't need to be on biological drugs, immunosuppressants, when you were given that organ transplant and then only given another couple of years to live? All of that is happening right now. They're called ghost organs. I'll talk more about that in the future. Stem cell rejuvenation. Things that are only legal right now in places like Panama, Costa Rica, Mexico, United States not allowing them yet. And I actually agree with them. I actually agree with them. We need more scientific research 
allow the research to be done, we can then bring these things to the United States. But we also know that stem cell and certain genes, they're called Yamanaka genes, I'll be doing a podcast on this as well, can bring back eyesight. They can completely repair joints without surgery. It's, it's unbelievable what is happening right now. A couple more that you might be interested in, reversal of gray hair and wrinkles, making the biological age of your skin 10 to 20 years or more younger. The reversal of gray hair, maybe even in the future, hair regrowth. How are they doing this? It's already happening in the lab. They have the evidence, they have the proof, uh, and it's being done with, on mice right now. Well, you might say, oh, well, but mice aren't humans. Agreed, but a lot of people don't know the DNA that they breed these mice to be like is very close to human. So it's not radically different. You first start with mice, and then you move on to more human clinical trials. And it's, it's absolutely remarkable, especially the reversal of blindness. I mean, that, that's an incredible one. So all of this, uh, and then we're even touching on the, the futuristic ones. Uh, I'm teaching this right now at highperformancehealth.org. If you're interested in learning more about this, if this interests you like it interests me, it's a huge passion of mine. I just want to put it all in one place. I want to get this down so people can start to implement it. And then we as a community will then begin to update this as new updates come in and, and also see what's working within the community too. It's, it's, it's absolutely remarkable. And I just basically touched on it right now. So anyway, that's highperformancehealth.org. Now let's go over the triage theory on why we age. So here's the thing. We talked about the disposable soma theory. That's basically the body prioritizes reproductive age and it compensates by letting things fall apart in the background. That's basically it. Well, the triage theory on why we age is that as we get older, 35, 40 plus, right? Our 30s and 40s, why do we also see a fall off? And it's because the body does not have the micronutrients it needs in order to keep up with normal biological processes. Okay, so you might, you've heard me say before, or other practitioners, I'm not the only one, that it's not just about macronutrients. Everybody's like, if it fits your macros, if it fits your macros. Okay, like, again, I get it, but a Snickers bar is not the same as a piece of salmon with some broccoli and, you know, a sweet potato. It's just not the same. Even if they have the same content in terms of carbs, fats, and protein, like it's just, it's not the same. And I know obviously a Snickers bar does not, but you get, you get what I'm saying because if it fits your macros, it means you can eat anything that you want if it fits your carbs, fats, and protein for the day. But even if it's processed food, like a Snickers, and a Snickers would probably be even a better choice because at least you're getting some nuts in there even though they are peanuts. But the, the truth is that it's not the same. A sugary beverage for your carbohydrates is not the same as a cup of blueberries. They're not the same. Why? Because the sugary beverage lacks micronutrients. It has the same macros, maybe, right, with that cup of fruit. Why is that? Just carbohydrates. That's your macro. But your micros are all of the vitamins and minerals and omega-3 fatty acids, as well as the sixes and nines that you need, but also other things like the enzymes and the phytonutrients in that blue, those anthocyanin antioxidants, are those plant-based chemicals, right, inside the blueberries. So we, as humans, start to have less of the vitamins, minerals, omegas, enzymes, white blood cells, stem cells, et cetera, as we get older. And so as we start to lack those, what happens is the body's repair process goes down. And as the body's repair process goes down, there are more damaged tissues in the body, cells, et cetera. And when that happens, inflammation goes up. And what happens when inflammation goes up? More damage occurs through oxidation and free radicals, okay? So repair process goes down, inflammation goes up, more damage is created, repair process goes down, less nutrients, inflammation goes up, and we wonder why as we age, we start to get all of these different diseases. We start to have less energy, lower mood, poor sleep, poor digestion. Like, it's all related to inflammation, but inflammation is not the true underlying root cause. In this case, we can get older, but still have enough micronutrients, right? Like, that's the thing. We can eat a diet that is high 
in micronutrients. That means we have sometimes and oftentimes lower caloric foods, but high nutrient dense. Those are typically your brightly colored vegetables. And yes, berries and fruit are phenomenal as well. Now, right away, people start to lose their minds because I didn't include meat or fish or eggs or anything like that in there. Yeah, those have a place as well. I'm not saying that those don't count. They do, right? Meat, fish, eggs, very nutrient dense. And I would say even not excess calories. Like you're getting good quality, especially if it's grass-fed, pasture-raised, um, or wild in terms of fish. So all of those are fantastic. And then your avocados, uh, your olive oil, two of your best fats right there for oleic acid, uh, amazing. So all of those count. And then the reason why nutritional supplements, it's only one of my eight-part protocols. So my eight-part protocol is the de-stress protocol, diet, exercise, stress reduction, toxin removal, rest, emotional balance, scientifically backed supplements, and a success mindset. The reason why supplements are actually important, especially as you get older, and why they show, as long as you're taking the right kinds and type, increased longevity and increased health span is because you're giving your body what it lacks as it needs it more as you age, right? Again, I still don't believe in mega doses. I don't believe in taking 20 grams of vitamin C on a daily basis or even 10 grams of vitamin C on a daily basis. Now, if you were to get the flu or something else, which I can't say, yeah, you might wanna go higher in certain vitamins. Uh, there's a time and place for everything. But what I'm saying is on a daily basis, you top everything off. You give it a little bit extra. I use the daily foundational protocol, level two myself, plus, I use the immunity protocol. Like I keep it pretty simple. Yeah, there's a few more things that I use because I like the benefit I get from them, but I'm just looking for extra nutrients to top things off. So, but when you look at it, and you can do, again, you can do as you choose. You can just, you can make more veggie smoothies or whatever it is that you want for more of these micronutrients. And that, that's fantastic. All I'm trying to do is get you the information. Our bodies can't keep up with the repair process. So you also have to understand then lack of sleep, less repair. Overexercise, you need now more repair, right? Like it's like all of these things matter. And so keto diets, well, you just removed a whole macro category and you're gonna increase most likely stress levels in the body. They're showing right now over and over, long-term keto diets are increasing all-cause mortality. So keep your keto diet for, you know, again, I can't give you medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis, but if you have a brain tumor, you've got things like that, different story. If you want to do cyclical keto diet, you know, for like two, three weeks, no problem. But long-term, horrific. You're gonna, they're going to show the same thing next with carnivore diet. Well, again, like, so you have to understand is these fad diets are not going to lead you to a longer life. Will they lead you to more of a disposable soma theory of life? Yes. You will look better for a shorter period of time and you will die younger. And I have to be the one to say this because nobody else is saying it but it's still the truth. No longevity scientist. I'm not a longevity scientist. I study longevity. I do the actual real world lab testing of people on hundreds of different diets. I get to see what's working. I can tell you for sure, strictly vegan doesn't work for almost anybody. I can also tell you that long-term keto destroys most women's hormones. Like I could go on and on. What I wanna share with you here today is that we know how we age. We know why we age. We also know how to start reversing the aging process. But what's even more important to me is that I can help you in some way to stay healthier longer so that you can actually enjoy your life. Have a life of pleasure, peace, and contentment rather than one of anger, frustration, pain, and suffering. And a lot of that starts with how you feel and the energy you have. So hopefully today's podcast was helpful. I thank you so much. Sometimes I go in these rants. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, it's always with good intent. If you want to check out all of the show notes from today, uh, as well as additional podcasts on these topics, the high-performance health topics, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2631. We'll link you up to all the high-performance health uh, podcasts, uh, as well as the new um, how-to protocols course and so much more. So again, hopefully this was helpful. Take care, everybody. Have an amazing day. 
Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics that you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.